This is your Z-axis. This is the magical third axis that allows us to 3D print. We're going to look at seeing if we can maximize and get the most out of our Z-axis next on the corner. Hey everyone, it's me Jeff. Glad to have you here. This time around, I'm looking at the Z-axis on the printer. Now the Z-axis allows us to print in height and thus give us our 3D models. But what happens when a model that we want to print is slightly larger than our build volume? Well, I'm going to see if I can adjust and tweak a few things to get the most out of our Z-axis. So I tested this on a few of my printers and ended up settling on my Tronc C Crux because I modified the hot end so I don't have as high as a height. Aurora Tech, in her review, also mentioned she wasn't getting maximum height on this printer either. So I went ahead and printed a test cylinder on the Crux and ended up measuring it and it measured 174 millimeters. This is the way my machine is set up right now. So let's look at the Z-axis assembly. As we scroll down here and we take it to max height, you see that the brass coupling here touches the top. But here where the wheel is, you have a large gap that it can still traverse on. So I went into Tinkercad and I imported a 2040 extrusion. I added a flat front plate to it. I will export and print it. And then I'm going to add it to the top. The dimensions are going to be about 10 mils high. So that should, in theory, give me the extra 10 mils to play with. I'm going to use a couple of M20s so I can attach it to the top. I'm going to take the top bracket off, insert this, and screw it back down. That should give me the extra height. Now that I've added the space here, you'll see there's a gap. So what we need to do is adjust the Z-rod coupler to get the added height. You can get a couple of millimeters on the stepper side and a couple more millimeters when you adjust it on the rod side. That should get us just enough. As you can see, this is my trunk seat that I got with the original glass bed. We're going to try and get a little bit more height by using the silicone spacers instead of the springs and we're also going to use a PEI sheet which should give us a few more millimeters from the glass but I want to show you something now see part of the problem is this screw here what this screw does is actually ends up catching on the belt and the gear right there because it's a little too long so we're going to have to replace this with a shorter screw and see here you can hear it clunking So let's have a look at what we did here. We put a little spacer that gives us the 10 mils. We have the PEI sheet that took off about three or four mils and we have the spacers that took off about two or three mils as well. That should be about 15 mils or so. Now because the crux is open source the firmware was locked at 180 for height so no matter what you would do it would only go as high as 180. You're going to need to change this and I I'm simply now going to change it to 200 until I figure out exactly how high I need. Then you can just go ahead and compile the firmware. So I printed the same cylinder test again and as you can see here I'm getting close to about 188, 189 mils. There's the old cylinder and that was at 174. So overall, these mods, we've gained about 14 or 15 mils of height. What benefits do you gain by making your Z-axis just that little more higher? Well, for instance, the Artemis project is in space right now, and I'm following that. So I thought I would print one of these Apollo astronaut support free. So you're going to download it and open it up in your slicer. It's 187.92. So this would be a model that you would have to rescale in order to print it. But I'm going to print it the way it is and we're going to have a look if we see if we can actually hit that magical 187.92 or so height. This will be a good test for all those mods. 
So what did I learn from playing around with these modifications? Well, the best mod and the cheapest mod was the spacer for 10 mil. It only cost me two screws to install, and that allowed me that extra height. The silicone spacers are good for a couple more mils. They're good for bed leveling because springs tend to go out a level quicker than the silicone spacers do. And as for the PEI sheet over glass, well, the PEI sheet did give me a few more mils. Some people like printing on glass. Some people like printing on the PEI sheet. The PEI sheet is flexible, so it's easier to get your prints off. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. And as always, if you're cruising through the channel, hit the subscribe button. And if you like what I'm doing here, give me a thumbs up. Until next time, guys, keep on printing.